Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, 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 who is this? Dude, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Uh, uh, yeah, who? Me, who? No, I'm not talking about Diamond Dallas Page. I'm talking about Joe Cronin from the Joe Cronin Show, guys. Joe, what's going on, man? Uh, well, a little bit of outside interference, but uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, not a problem, man. I always like to interfere, and this is the best place to do it, I heard. <laughs> yes, you got it. But uh, you're here now, so you know we're, we're talking Undertaker today, so we've got, some, uh, we've got some questions to ask you. Sure, man. That, that sounds good. What's going on? So, Joe, uh, you know, we, we currently see uh, The Undertaker. He's kind of back. He's uh, feuding with the Wyatts, Bray Wyatt. Uh, but more or less now, it's almost like the Brothers of, of Destruction are kind of maybe making a comeback. Um, are we on a goodbye Taker tour? Uh, or, or what do you think is going to happen? It definitely feels that way. I mean, so far, you know, all we've gotten is a nice little video package. And if you want to talk about the video package, then, uh, you know, I, I, I'm the kind of person where I, I understand what they're doing with The Undertaker and Kane. And I like it. But... I am sick of poor Bray Wyatt having to start a feud with The Undertaker uh, on a screen somewhere. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think they're building up to maybe the last Raw before the event, or we may not even get The, the uh, Undertaker uh, on any of these Monday Night Raws up until Survivor Series. But as far as uh, a goodbye tour, yeah, I think so, because I've always thought this is the way to end it. You're in his home state, The Undertaker's last run. Dallas, Texas, this is where to do it. Pass the torch to somebody. And will this also lead into Bray versus Undertaker 2 at a WrestleMania? And finally, will Bray Wyatt get put over? I think that's the way you should really go. Make Bray Wyatt the star. Make him more credible and legitimate. And uh, yeah, this could be the one of the last times we see The Undertaker on a special event slash pay-per-view. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost worried because, I mean, like, we already had Taker versus Wyatt at WrestleMania, and now it's, you know, Wyatt pretty much held that program on his own for weeks and weeks uh, by himself uh, with no Taker present, and it's almost like we're doing it again. Um, I'm afraid, you know, we're just going to get nonstop Bray Wyatt talking, and don't get me wrong, he's great on the mic, but... I want to see a little bit of interaction between them, but I mean, uh, I really hope, and I really hope this is Bray Wyatt's time, because I'm almost afraid that, you know, they're just doing something for the Taker and uh, Kane, and uh, I don't know, they really need to put the Wyatts over. Is that? Do you feel the same way? Is it? Is it, you know, time to put up yeah. or shut up for the Wyatts? It is time to put up or shut up for the writers and for the decision makers at WWE. I think the Wyatts and Bray Wyatt has done everything they can possibly do with the crap that they've been handed to them. It's mostly the finishes that have been crap that they've been handed. As I talked to Vince Russo the other day on my show, he is infuriated that Wyatt isn't written better and he can't understand how it isn't done, and neither can I. And that's what needs to happen. Bray Wyatt needs to be put over the right way, bury The Undertaker in some kind of epic ceremony, some kind of epic fashion. Maybe Bray Wyatt carries around The Undertaker's ashes in an urn or something. For the, I mean, that would be unbelievable. I want to see Undertaker go into a casket at WrestleMania and get wheeled out by the Druids, and as he gets to the ramp, I want just, like, shit to hit the, you know, I don't even know if you swear on your show, but I just did. Um, I want stuff to hit this thing, hit the casket or whatever, go out on fire. Make it crazy, the pageantry. And, and you're right. I can't take any more of Bray Wyatt seeing a chair get lit on fire, seeing a lightning bolt hit a stage, and no one's around. Remember when Vince McMahon called out God and no one was really there to answer him? You know, it was good one time, but we need to get somebody for Bray Wyatt to face. We, it's almost silly that it's these video packages. That I, I thought it was kind of weak. I want to see those guys really show up and, and do something and interact with this poor character who's so good, so should be even more over than he is. Um, he should be able to have something of substance to interact with. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, real quick, uh, one last thing with that is that you know, uh, the eater of worlds. He, you know, he's been putting everybody over, but he has no credibility of being this uh, dominant force. And it's like, if Bray Wyatt loses again, it's it's there's nothing behind him to even keep going anymore. I don't know. Dude, he's the pester of worlds. He's the pester of worlds. He pests people. He bothers people. He's the bother. He's the inconvenience of worlds. And then the worlds move on without him after he loses. That's what happens. 
Well, you know, obviously now we've got Bray Wyatt, and we've got you. You saw on Raw, you saw the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger type uh, pyrotechnics and uh, <laughs> animatronics, if you will. Um, but do you think that if Bray beats the Undertaker, he can kind of fill that void in being like the you know the guy who has a key to the dark side, really? Yes, I think it's. I think it is absolutely that way, and he really. To be honest, should have been there since the start. This should have been the way he started. Mankind kind of started that way. And, you know, Bray Wyatt should have should have really started that way. He was over in that way with the fans and the whole thing with the crowd. But he wasn't quite booked 100% that way. And I, I do look at this as a launching point. We've seen enough of Bray Wyatt now. This is his time. Put him over massively. Do something as close to the Brock Lesnar ending the streak as you can with Bray Wyatt and Undertaker at WrestleMania, um, whatever you can do, put this guy in over, let him win a huge match finally, and we can all take him seriously. And He won't just be a stepping stool for the next person to go to. He seems to be right now, he's a stepping stool to the WWE Championship. you got to get past Bray, and when you beat Bray after he pokes, pokes you, you know, then you get a shot at the title. All right, now once again with Undertaker, Kane, um, who do you think they're going to get to kind of help them with this match at Survivor Series? Oh, that's a that's a really good question. That is, uh, I, I've been thinking about this for days. Um, I, I I feel like Dean Ambrose will be on their team. Um, after that. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if the Usos will be there or if they'll go for something bigger that we, maybe we don't expect. Um, but I definitely think it would, Dean Ambrose will be one of them. And if they – and I'm, I'm talking about like people that maybe aren't even currently in the WWE maybe or something like that. That's what people have been throwing around. Um, <laughs> some silly person tech tweeted me, it's going to be Sid. Um, but no, I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, no, I, w- I would go with um, – you know, some of the younger guys, but you know, guys like Ambrose, you know, you get Ambrose, Taker, Kane, and I mean, maybe Ryback's going to end up getting stuck with them. You know, I don't want to see that, but it, you know, it could be someone like Ryback, but after that, I can't think of someone. So you guys let me know if you've got any other ideas, I'm sure. Well, the only thing I, I've been trying to think in my head is that maybe it's not a Survivor Series match. Maybe it's just the Brothers of Destruction versus the Wyatts, and maybe it's just Bray Wyatt and, uh, Braun Strowman or, you know, maybe just whatever combination of Wyatt's, but, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't, if it's four on two, Undertaker and Kane have to lose because there's no way these old guys can beat up these young guys, and especially when it's four on two. Uh, so if, no. if, if it's just a combination of two on two, you know, if it's just the Brothers of Destruction versus Bray and whoever he picks, or I don't know, but that's the only thing I could think of to where... Do they really need to make this into a Survivor Series match, or are we just kind of doing, you know, the farewell Undertaker tour, kind of highlighting his past with the Brothers of Destruction, and you know, doing something like that? But at the end of the day, they better not win. The Wyatts better win. They need this win. They need this to catapult them. And I don't know. I don't. I don't see Taker winning. And even though he kind of has lost the past few months, uh, I don't know. You know, now that you say it, they've. I think you're, we might be all wrong about this. It, it might be the Undertaker and Kane that this is all the makings of a win for Undertaker and Kane because, um, you know, they they do. Undertaker does need a win going into WrestleMania. He needs a big win. And what did I just say? Bray Wyatt's been the stepping stone for somebody who's legitimate enough that when somebody beats Bray Wyatt, they move on to that sort of main event area. And the Undertaker has some losses. You know, a cheap shot sort of thing with Lesnar, then losing to Lesnar. Undertaker has to win. I take it back. It's exactly what we thought it was. It's Bray Wyatt and the Wyatts putting over the Undertaker and Kane. That's what's going to happen. They they have to do that to put the Undertaker back over. So, And maybe, you know, Bray doesn't take the pinfall to where that could set up another match between Bray and Taker to where, you know, he could pin one of the Wyatts or something like that. Well, what I'm thinking, and we've been talking around this the whole time, but what happens when Kane turns on Undertaker to help the Wyatts win Kane Taker WrestleMania? I I, I will. Um, you will smell the puke from my house. <laughs> where you know what I mean? I mean, you will absolutely smell this thing from my house because I won't stop vomiting. I won't stop vomiting, vomiting to all the 
calcium deposits are empty in my body till all the, the it just everything is out of myself. I can't take it. I do not want to see Kane Undertaker. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances um, do I want to see that match again. Well, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> However, <laughs> I don't want to see it unless I don't care what they do it, because both of them are lurching around. It's not going to be good. Um, I really do not want to see that. I could see that happening for sure. Um, and, and the only thing that would save it a little bit is if they had that kind of build up, but they won't. So I don't want to see it. You can never top what they did for that WrestleMania 14 build up. You will not top that. What Paul Bear did during that thing, what Kane and Undertaker did, the whole PG era wasn't around. It was attitude time. Uh, you will not get close. I, I didn't even like the last time when, uh, when Kane, when Undertaker came back and Kane was saying, you know, you're not real. You're not real. I didn't believe any of that. I thought it was horrible. Um, it, the only thing that was so cool was that The Undertaker was back, so it overshadowed it, and it was kind of a cool moment, but don't want to see it a third time. Well, Joe, uh, great talk with you, man. I mean, everybody listening right now, head on over to YouTube.com slash The Joe Cronin Show. Uh, we barely scraped the surface with uh, Joe Cronin. Uh, thanks for stopping by, man, and giving us some uh, outside interference. Hey, guys, anytime. I'm going to take my chair and go after someone else now. <laughs>